can your husband or your significant other uh, who you've had a relationship for, for for quite some time, is it okay for him to have female friends that, you know, he talks on the phone with all the time? I'm about vice versa. Or yeah. vice versa. You're right. Or vice versa. Can she have a friend uh, that she talks to constantly? They cackalacking on the phone. Um, but in essence, you don't know about it. But they say it's okay for them to have friends that call them. What y'all think friend about that? Men should be able to have friends. Men should be able to have friends, but we are so insecure. So you think that we should men should be okay to have friends? Yeah, somebody said something before her. Oh, let's see. I wish I could. We would love to meet Pat Neither. Okay, yeah, he's gonna be there. Um, Brian said, respectfully, I have female friends. My wife can't have male friends, though. <laughs> That's what Brian said. He said, joking, joking. Okay, Brian. Um, Brittany Darden says, I'm not married, but I don't know why my man would need a female friend. What's the point of a wife? Okay? Your wife should be your best friend. Thank you. You shouldn't. You couldn't have said it any better, Brittany Darton. Oh, what Brittany done about? That, that's what she said. She said she's not married, but she know that why my man would need to have a female friend. Why? They can just be friends. And folk be, be friends like that all the time. You can see it all over the world. Oh, well, we talking about right here. Right here in the world, wherever it might be. Uh-huh. So do you think it's okay? Just depends. Don't get quiet on us now. I ain't getting quiet. I okay. said depends. Depends on what? Well, how the friend it is and what, what kind of friend it is or what kind of relationship. But should relationship you okay that with your wife? <laughs> T says if she's his friend, she better be mine. That's why I feel T too. Me and you on the same page. Hey, classmate. Claremate. I want to know what he want to say about what this. Claremate it. He uh, yeah, he done jumped on. Hey, classmate, how are you? We're talking about for, the, no for those of you who are just tuning in. Is it okay for a man, a married man or a married woman to have the opposite sex as a friend on the phone? Men and women cannot be friends on a regular basis. That is coming from Shonda Ware. <laughs> Brit Brittany says men start to look for things sexually but they're supposed to be friends, though. Men? What about women? They might start looking for things. Yeah, I'm going to put it Janica on the Janika says, yes, he has friends that I trust can just be friends. But then I know certain females that have other motives. I know that's right. You got to say that. Thank Sound you. like it might just be no at the end of the day. Yeah, that would it need to be at the end of the day. So that what you think? That what I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I think. Jazzy Johnson says the wife shouldn't know about it. Anything else is sneaky, disrespectful, and suspect. I totally agree. Because why couldn't you tell your wife that, uh, you know, such and such called me and uh, we've just been talking on the phone. If you can't say that, sneak, sneaky, suspect, and disrespectful. You're right. Um, Dr. Bryan says associate, yes, but... Being a friend, there is a difference. Kenneth Whitlow Sr. says, Friends are friends. There are no gender difference. Husband and wives have friends. And if they truly friends, they know you are happily married. Yeah. Kenneth, you really believe that? I mean, Kenneth, you're saying that a husband and wife Kenneth have Ross. friends. If they truly friends... They know you are happily married. You think the other friend know y'all happily married? Both of them ought to know. If the person married and they talking to them, they definitely know they married. Yeah, they, they happily married. Oh, I wasn't there. Really, Kenny? Kawana says, I'm not insecure. It's just nowadays people will call each other friend, sis, bro, and the whole time sleeping together. I'm the best friend and the last friend. <laughs> <laughs> Say that loud, Kawana. Fran says, my ex had a female friend, and one day he went to the store to purchase some charcoals and never returned. <laughs> that friend <laughs> later became his second wife. Lord, have mercy. Okay. Who said that, friend? Fran. Say that loud, friend. 
Boom, exactly. Marsha Jones says, my husband has been my best friend for 36 years of marriage. If he want to talk to a friend, he can talk to me. Say that, Marsha. Go ahead, girl. Corey, you are so quiet. So tell us what you think. I told you what I thought. What you think? <clears throat> I think you get have a friend. And you talk do. on the phone. Yeah, you want that coffee in your face? Because that's what you finna get. Oh, that's what yeah. you, you, you finna get. <laughs> <laughs> you finna get that coffee on you. Huh? Yeah, don't blow the cock on me. Oh, okay. You finna get scalded. You got some male friends that you be talking to on the phone? I do. Um, Nafana says phones. Is it okay for your significant other to keep their phone on silent while at home? You almost made me cuss. No. No, ma'am. I need that thing to be dinging so I can hear who calling. Especially now that I'm here all the time. Now that I'm here all the time, I, mean, I need to hear so the I phone you, what's up? dinging. That's right. I mean, whether it's on silent or not, you're going to know it. If it's ringing or doing something, you're going to see it or you're going to say something. Uh, right. Right. Um, I just feel like men will talk to other female friends about issues, problems having between the wife, and that's none of the friend's business. Say it, Brit. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> that's why it shouldn't be friends, period. Right. Because if you got a problem with your wife, talk to your wife. Don't be talking to her or talk to the good Lord because she can't t change you. The God can. <laughs> See, the God can. Yeah, right. The God can. I got all, I got plenty of all my customers. Back, well, not all of them, but most of them female. Uh-huh. And, I mean, I talk to them from time to time. Uh-huh. I mean, God, dog. No. But most of them know me, though, right? All of them know you. Okay. Everybody know you. I'm a uh, hairstylist slash counselor. No, you better counsel over here. I mean, when you be a hairstylist, you're like a preacher. Be okay, a when they come for service, but after the service is over. Then they go and they pay you and they leave. They pay but you and they leave. talking to them while they there. Right, and that's fine. I got they, you. I got you. King, but yes. the problem would be is if you call in at home, talking about, yeah, Corey, like I was saying. No, you ain't saying S over here. Okay? You ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't saying that's over him. I'm going to make me cuss. Jerry said, it's all <laughs> got to be about trust and respect. Thank you for sharing, Felicia. I appreciate it. Brenda says, women know how to control just being friends only with a man. Men cannot. See, now, when they said stuff like right what she said then. Okay, tell me. How is that women can control, but men can't? But the men can't do nothing if the women don't do nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? If the man, if the woman don't let it go no further, carry it no further, then the man can't carry it no further either. Right. But, but yet they saying a man will uh, try because, something or try to do something. Yeah, a woman, try something. And a woman will try to do something. A man will try to do something. I think a woman will nah, do it. No, a man will try to do it. He'll probably try to take the relationship a little bit further because he thinking with the wrong head. Just be honest. That what he doing. Well, she, I, I think yeah. it, it, it's still two kind of people out there. It's some, it's some doggish men. It's some doggish women. It's a lot of doggish men. It's some regular men. It's some regular women. Uh -huh. That's what I think. And then, and, then, really and, 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 then <clears throat> and then, you know, and people just don't respect marriages anymore or relationships. They really don't care. If, if you if, if you allow, allow it to be in, then you'll just open it up. You'll just, the, if you just allow just a little bit. Oh, bad man, they done stuck the whole toe in. But folk got to be friend and have friend. It'll be a bad world. <clears throat> it just wouldn't be right. Your friend over here. Oh, yeah, I know that. Cash Julio says talking about your relationship with your female friends can help you see a woman's perspective other than your significant other. Story. That, that might help you with a rational decision. What you think about that? Yeah, if you're talking to another female about your wife, do you think that that may make you help you see another perspective as a from a woman's perspective? Yeah, because it be a woman, woman, no women, because they're a woman, and they might can help mm -hmm. them in help, some help, help in some type of way. But you know, it is certain stuff you're gonna be telling folks or talking about. You're uh -huh. gonna be talking about everything. On, like, know? what would you be talking about to another one about your about your significant other? What you nah, you be know. telling them what? I really don't know. Huh? I mean, saying, you know, I'm I'm trying to get April on this pole. 
Now you're going to be under a pole. You're going to be dead. Hey, that what you're going to be. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I'm just telling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Dory, <Dora>, help. <laughs> Tally says, King, you safe. Everyone respects you. It has a lot to do with how you carry yourself. Exactly. That's the whole point. How you carry yourself. See, Corey is a talker. And that talking. And folk know I just like to talk. Well, you better put a zipper on it. So you you just don't need to talk to everybody. Whoever you talk to, they need to respect me. And that's vice versa. Whoever talks to me needs to respect you. And I they, know, and, story. And they will call. Like, I know. <laughs> men call me all the time. What? All the time. And they're going to always say, Hi, Brother Corey. That don't mean you crap. Call them folks ask about me. Well, <clears throat> at least they ask about you. <clears throat> Yours probably don't even say nothing about me. But April, April ain't their issue. Jessica says, sometimes people look for what they are lacking in their relationship within their friends instead of addressing it and working on it with their partner. And that is where friendships, in parentheses, she said, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, book right here. Get turned into feelings. If someone is your real friend, male or female, they will be supportive of your relationship and encourage you to do your best. To do right by your partner. I totally agree. Friendship is also holding each other accountable. <laughs> Those yes man right. friends who support your mistakes and take joy in those mistakes are the snakes you got to watch out for. Are you listening to yeah, that? Yeah, I'm listening to it. Okay, I agree What's that, up, Brooks? that you can have friends of other genders, but that friendship needs to be extended to your partner with mutual respect and understanding from your partner. Jessica, is her name Jessica? Yeah, Jessica said a lot. That that was really good, Jessica. You're right. We yeah. sh I mean, because if your friend, if that's your friend, if he's my friend, and I'm telling him something about Corey, if he my friend, he going to hold me accountable and say, nah, that's your husband now. You should be doing X, Y, Z. But yeah, if he, mean, but if he yeah, just like, yeah, yeah you know, you know, I know, you know, hey, but come on over here. Let me show you how to really do it or something. You know, no, he ain't no, your I friend. No, be doing like that. Right. That ain't no real friend. Right. So y'all think folk be up to something or got a hint of gender if they talking on the phone? Do you think they might be up to something or could it just be that they just being friend for real? Uh, man, uh, Sharika. Hey, Sharika, Marshall, how are you? Uh, Eric told me to simmer down. I ain't simmering nowhere. Pray, right. pray about me. Eric, pray about me. You might need to lay some hands on me over here. Sharika Marshall says, men usually make friends in those they are attracted to or has lustful thoughts towards, whereas women can see an attractive man and still stay committed because we are more emotionally co connected creatures. Oh, y'all always saying that. Y'all about to witness. Y'all about to witness. Y'all always saying stuff like women. Y'all trying to put women so high up on the thing and women don't do nothing. Women we, ain't don't saying, do nothing. we ain't saying women don't they do nothing. They don't be doing that bull crap. Yeah, because they women. doing it with you. They don't do it with me. Yeah, because you right. They sure do be doing it. You sure right. They sure do be doing it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah most time, I think men be innocent. Why you want to get back, honey? Let me get both of these comfortable. I ain't going to sit in there. I'm just saying. Hey, Stuart. Boy, I need to go in Man, where my nine at around here? I just ain't going to sit in there on this old conversation right here. Where my nine at around here? You, you going to need more than that. Don't do it. Don't I'm going to get your pinky toe. I mean, really? Can the cross, Eric here says a man can only go as far as the woman. Neither one is better than the other. Helen and Bruce, they sleek as a snake. Natisha says he better ask our mamas or my sisters, not no other female. Say that, T. Now, is it okay if a woman have a if a man if a woman be calling you? Is it okay? I'm just saying, depending on how it is, and okay, I, I go with what you said. Go, go at ahead. the end of the day, okay. Both of them, yes, you just should know it. Mm -hmm. Everybody should know. Mm -hmm. But if somebody don't know, then it can really look a little ugly if everybody don't know. Uh huh. I mean, do you think it's okay if if the spouse don't know? No, that ain't okay. That ain't okay. I'm just asking. I mean, truthfully. No, it ain't okay if they don't. Cause know. then, what it, what it look like then? 
look like it. King could be King dead. real quiet, y'all. He normally be all talking. Okay, well talk then. I mean, I can't want to say so much. Okay, you go ahead. You about to knock me out every time I talk. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna know knock you out. Saying. Mary talk. I ain't What's gonna up? knock you out. I'm just saying. Go ahead. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kaka Wanja said it's a setup. King, plead the fifth. <laughs> he ain't gonna plead no fifth. Go ahead and talk. Him and I put all them masks on now. <laughs> ain't nobody putting no, no DAME and mask on him. He talking. Stay he talking about COVID 19. He, he talking about no going COVID 19. Well, what are you talking about? He talking about your butt. That's what he talking about. I thought he was talking about COVID 19. He ain't talking about no wear COVID. He's saying, wear the mask. He, find my mask. He, he got to find your mask. They're going to be your mask. Brittany says a lot of times men don't put their foot down. That's where the issue come into play. Exactly. And that's when they start playing. You're right. Uh, Ms. Barnes says it's not people not respecting the marriage. It's the people in the marriage not respecting it. I can't do anything you don't allow. Whoa. Now that you said something then, that is so true. Thank you, Miss Summers, for sharing. I appreciate you sharing. Now you said something then. You right. Mary Child says nowadays you both can be in the hanging out with your friends and they still be sleeping with each other. No respect at all. Share out the broadcast if you guys don't mind. Please type in share it at the bottom. Patrick Rogers says every married man needs two phones. Let the church say <laughs> amen. Let the church say. Who the hell is Patrick? Let the church say. Don't listen to him. Amen. 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 Well, the deacon's at. Amen. Where the preacher's at. My soul was sinking <laughs> in a world of sin. Grace and the mercy, it took me in. Took my feet out of the marry clay and placed it on on the rock to stay. Yeah. Oh, what a relief it was. Stop going singing. I'm talking. When Be quiet. God rescued I don't want to hear that church stuff this morning. Mm -hmm. Listen. I'm letting cooling water. I want to know. You're going to be in the water. Hey, hey. Cut that, cut that door singing out. You can't. I'm tired of that church stuff right now. I want to hear it. You can't cut the singing out. I want to hear that church stuff right now. It felt like. You might be in cooling water, so you need to be quiet. I ain't never seen you turn the church stuff on. <laughs> Patrick said, side chicks is winning. Who in freaking Patrick? That was, yeah, he said, side chicks is winning, and every, every married man need two cell phones. He some got to play or something. Take, take, get, get him off of that. Block him. Block that dude off of, off of him. That crazy stuff he talking about. Hey, man, you need to get off of him. <laughs> Patrick telling the truth about y'all. ain't telling no god dog the truth. That's the Cofield talking about black men don't cheat. The hell you say? Andre Haynes says, I think some friendships start out as friends, but eventually the relationship could potentially escalate into more than just a friendship. Uh, and what do you think about should a man have two cell phones? I don't think no man should have no two cell phones. I mean, that's just me now. I don't know. Different men might be in bed and doing different stuff and they might need two cell phones. For me and my house, I don't need but one. I ain't got to have no phone you want to hit two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if I wasn't in bed, I just want to have no phone. Uh-huh. So, you know. So you don't think a man should have two cell phones? Do you think a woman should have access to your phone? The other spouse should have yeah. access to your phone. Yep. Do you think that? The best person to have a conversation with when you're having problems is the person you're having the problem with. No need for outside help unless you're already planning to go outside. Thank you, Timothy. You couldn't have said that any better. Did you hear what Timothy said? Yeah, I heard What did he say? Something about... 
Brooks said he got two phones. I say, I say, I say. He said that uh, ain't no need to get nobody that don't outside help unless you plan to go outside or something like that and get with them or something. He was mm -hmm. saying. Other than that, don't have no outside. You ain't doing listening. Yeah. Is it fine for a man or a woman yeah, be sleep, to come know. home and put their <laughs> ringer on silent or turn their phone over like this? Their phone like this all the time. Do they turn their phone over so when it ring, then they like, oh, Lord. I ain't worried about nobody calling me. I just turn my phone regular. Yeah, no, nah, I'm answering now. So, um, and Tyler says, I, I'm both of y'all friends. That's right, Tyler. Now, that, that's a prime example. Tyler will call, Corey Hale, Tyler on speaker, or Tyler say, tell April, hey, and that's perfectly fine because Tyler know who I am. But everybody else, get in line. Um, Hilma Brooks says, King gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you bring stuff way back there. Do you want to take? No, you go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm just asking. Do you, do you want this? Your phone that's lagging. I, I know, no, I got it. Had to be them came up. Oh, okay, well, it's like just coming up. But do you want it? No. So you saying you up? I'm, I'm trying to, but I don't want to skip all what the people done said. Well, you want to skip something? Come back to go in a minute. Okay, now. I think it should be mutual respect, and the person should be able to talk to both the fee the male and the female friend and his wife, or else that can be wrong and disrespectful. They said, Corey, plead the fifth. She plead the fifth. Um, time. <laughs> Amos says, if your spouse is turning to someone outside the marriage for conversation, that's a serious problem. It, that means a serious communication problem is in your relationship. Look at Story being a preacher talking about time is far spent. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Tyler said, yes, she should have access to his phone and she should have access, he should have access to hers. I think if I ask, grant me access, we must not remove trust from the relationship. Adeline said, if Show you don't course. have anything to hide, your mate should have your password. Amos says, I have two cell phones and my wife is welcome to answer either one of them. Chance it for me. Shelby Rogers says, if, if the friend cannot respect boundaries of the marriage, then no. Men and women know when a friend intentions are to be more than friends. Stephanie Richards says, what about when your wife or husband has had a childhood friend of the, of the opposite sex and they are strictly platonic? Uh, they have just been good friends and has no problem with the wife or husband. Uh-uh. Um, Tyler says, I don't think they should turn the phone over. Mm -mm. The phone come in like this. I just do like this. Turn that phone over. Um, Jatan says, can they take a trip together? You almost made me really. <laughs> yeah, I think she's just saying something. She's just like the other dude. Oh, she, no, she is. Can up, they so. take a trip together? Oh, who? Who? Talking about the, uh, the my husband and another woman? Oh, ain't about my husband. Don't talk about me. Oh, not okay. me. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you, you want to come back not in a body bag. Exactly. Right. Uh, Amy says a spouse leaving the room every time their phone rings is a serious red flag in a relationship. And usually is a sign that he or she is cheating. Is that true, you guys? Because Cora do that all the time. So I don't know. you the one always leaving. I don't, I, I, leave. I don't leave. That really? often. No, nobody be calling my phone. So do what, what? What? Hey, Sheba. What do you guys think? I think we get on off of him. Huh? Because it's time to go. <laughs> your niggas say, yeah, a trip to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Candace Caulfield says. Social media plays a part too, right? Because since I've Ruth been, is, I'm because since I've been at home, um, you oh, know, so, I'm talking. Oh, go ahead. Okay, social media, you're right, plays a part because what I did was I just went on so Corey's social media account and I just deleted everybody who got big booties. So that's what I did. I just made sure that so he probably down to three thousand friends now because I deleted a whole two thousand. It took me a while, but I I did because I said, "What well, he need them as a friend?" That's what I said. Let me, let me help him out. So I was trying to help him so he won't have any ideas. That's what I did. I don't need to look at but one back in that. that. Oh, okay, you better make sure. Cause I don't know how they got to be your friend. I didn't make him for friend. I oh yeah, you were, you, you, you told me to do you, it. You were just looking. Oh, okay. I just, just, well, boop, you boop, ain't licking no more. Friend. You ain't licking no more. I'm gonna do it with my phone. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> you need to. 
He ain't looking at nothing but church folks on his thing. Yeah, that's who he looking at. Now, he got a whole church um, Facebook page. That's what he got. Yeah, that's what he doing. Mm -hmm. Look at him, the classmate, talking about don't bring this topic back no more. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, it'll be like that. Church folks ain't safe either. You better say that. You right. You right. Church folks ain't saved either. You right, Kalanda. So that's the way we going to do He want to keep talking about this shop. Yeah, I'm going to get, we got to go to work. Yeah. So I'm going on the work. Jermaine work. talking about, Jermaine Jackson, like, get mine and delete mine too. Delete what? My Facebook. <laughs> Some of the folks on my Facebook page. That, that all the thing. <laughs> Ooh, I can't even run the show no more. Throw her away at, boy. I ain't seen you on there in a while. You don't left. She goes, you got to go down there. Oh, don't tell me why I got I know my oh, schedule. I keep my schedule. I know. Yeah, I, I got my schedule over here. Yeah. But Tina says, to be continued. Put that little finger down, Corey. That's what Debbie said. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Wood. Debbie. <laughs> go sell a house. <laughs> Julie said, Corey. Church women will try to get at your husband quicker than the women in the club. That's what Amos says. He's a man. What you think about that? Then that's the last comment. What you think about that? I don't know. It might be true. I don't know. Who is Amos? Butch? Uh, Amos Williams. Mm. What you think about that? Mm. Yeah, Sharika, I'm cutting up today. They're right. This this the new April Ross. They're right. Cause I'm, <laughs> after I quarantine, honey, I'm like, well, I'm woke. Like my friend T said, stay woke. I'm real woke. That's right. Um, Dexter, well, y'all, we out of there, Kelly. Dexter says, black men are saints. I said, again, black men don't cheat. Dexter, be quiet. And y'all let me know if y'all want to do a part two. We ain't doing no freaking part two, nothing. <laughs> that is over. If no, y'all want to be the host. If y'all want to. I ain't been on him. <laughs> if y'all want a part two next week, just put part two. Just put part two. Type in part Man, two we out in, in the comments. Messy folks. Make sure, he said messy, folks. It ain't messy. Y'all right. have a good one.